again, it's Nye on Fire with the Hot Seat. And today we are featuring, during the quarantine, safe and healthy in our homes, one of my great friends, teammates, and somebody who I just enjoy being around. She's a very hard worker. Um, she came on the rugby scene a year or two ago. Two years. Um, two years ago. <clears throat> She's been working really hard to get on the circuit. She went to one tournament at that was in Australia. Yeah, debuted in Australia. Yeah, she debuted in Australia. Um, she had a great tournament for the times that she was able to come on the field and have an impact um, off the field. She's a very honest, um, compassionate person, fun to be around. And also, she's beautiful. <laughs> so with us today, we have Casey McCravey. Say hi. Hello, hello. How are you doing, young lady? Yeah, you know, just hanging in there. How are you? I'm doing good, doing the same, sure. working out. Say it again. So you did your hair right up for it. <laughs> yeah, I just washed it so it's air drying with some mousse. <laughs> It'll look good tomorrow. So, <clears throat> I'm not sure if you've watched the show before, but one of the first things we start off with is the big top five. So, with that, I want you to tell the audience, if they can only know five things about you, what are five things that you would tell them? Ooh, five things. Um, number one, I'm a dog mom, a new dog mom. I have a 11-week-old Australian Shepherd named Kai. Number two, uh, I'm in the Army, so oh, I'm branch. in the World Class Athlete Program um, for, for the Army, and, oh, okay. yeah. and I get to um, represent the military while playing rugby. Um, number three, I really love the beach and I love to tan, so I'm in a great place being in San Diego. Um, number four, I played... Uh, college softball at West Point, and then number five. Let's see, she'll tell me, or she'll tell you that I'm a liar, but I constantly have to turn Naya down because she hits on me all the time. <laughs> <laughs> In your dream, <laughs> add that to your dream list. <laughs> that is the big top five for Casey McCravey. Is there any way you can show us your puppy? She is at the vet right now getting shots, oh. but I'll I'll send you a picture so you can add it to the video. Yeah, I'll add it to the little post so you can see her little cute fluff ball. Yeah. Um, so now you guys know five things about Casey. Now we're going to go into the base questions so you and myself can figure out a little more about Casey and how she found rugby. So the first base question we're going to start with is, how did you find rugby? And after finding rugby, how did you go about making the national team? So I was, uh, um, the way I got to rugby is pretty unorthodox. I was approached by Andrew Locke, who was the assistant coach uh, three years ago now. Um, he shot me an email while I was deployed to, um, I was in Poland. And he was like, hey, I didn't know you don't know me. I know of your background from West Point, um, and I think rugby would be a good fit for you. So completely random. Um, and then he sent me videos. I learned all about rugby. I learned all about you guys. And then when I got back nine months later, I was lucky enough to come out to the center and um, try out with with you guys. And for whatever reason, lucky enough to be invited back and kind of learned rugby with the best people in the world, so. Was it surreal meeting the girls you were watching and learning about? Yeah, it was crazy. Um, and you probably don't remember this story, but it's forever etched in my brain. <laughs> the, <laughs> the very first week I came out, um, Richie, former, former coach, had me um, playing a scrimmage against you guys. My very first week of rugby. And for whatever reason, he thought I was fast, so he put me on the wing to guard you. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so you got the ball and did what you did, and I, like, 
thought I tracked you really well, and I was like, oh, I'm going to make this tackle. And then you just palm my face and throw me to the ground and score a try. I do not remember that, but I'm sure it felt real good. Real good. I, like, just looked up from the ground, and you were just going, and I was like, well, welcome to rugby. This is great. This is great. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, okay, so next question. <clears throat> How has the military prepared you for rugby? Um, the military offers a lot of um, opportunities to be resilient and critical think. So you get put in very high stake situations where you have to think on your feet and adapt. And I think those those things transfer very well to rugby because you constantly have to read the picture in front of you and adapt and try to solve on the go. And so I think that being in the military, that has helped me on the rugby pitch. Yeah. And I think like your leadership roles transferred over really well because I remember like you first getting here, it was just in you. And I think th the team noticed and also the staff. And I remember them bringing you on to the leadership group, which at first I was surprised because you were new and I'm just like, OK, yeah. but then like <laughs> I seen you talk and I seen you lead by example. And I was like, OK, that makes sense now. So I think that was like one of the first things I noticed. I'm like, oh, okay, she probably learned a lot of that from being in the military. So I thought that was cool. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, last base question. So you got on the team. Um, you worked hard to get there. You came from the military. Once you got on the team, what was your goal? Was it I want to go to the Olympics? Was it I want to just enjoy this new sport? Was it I want to do more with rugby after? What was and even if it's changed, what was your goal when you came in? And is it still the same or has it changed? Um, I mean, overall goal, like long term goal. Go to the Olympics since I was young. I didn't when I was younger, I just didn't know what sport because I played all sports go growing up. And I just knew I wanted to get to the Olympics somehow. Um, but when I first got on the team, it was my goals were just try and keep up because it yeah. was like through a fire hose because you got people who've been playing for years and who are so great at their craft and I'm just coming in and I'm, I just didn't want to like slow anybody down. So when I first came in, my goal was to take in, just be a sponge, take in all the information that anyone would give me. You were one of the best at it. You would come and correct me or s offer an opinion that would, you know, like open my mind to things. And so goal coming in was just to be a sponge. And then I'd still to this day, that's my goal because I, a lot of people have a lot to offer and I just love taking feedback. But now it's um, my goal is like to can be a consistent person on tour. Um, mm. So I was I made I debuted in Sydney, went to uh, France when we won our first gold and then Glendale, and then was 13th man in uh, Dubai, and then was able to dress out for Cape Town. So I started okay. to gain some traction and, you know, make more tours. Um, but I just want to make that consistent. Yeah, I think that that's usually how it starts. When an athlete first gets here, you have the big goal, but then you realize you have all these smaller goals you have to hit before you can even start considering that big goal. Which is, So it's like a big eye opener once you get out here. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So now we're going into the speedster round. So in the speedster <laughs> round, I ask you five questions, and you have to answer them as fast as possible. And the first answer that comes out of your mouth is your answer. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Don't be nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, number one, what's your favorite type of workout? Uh, heavy lifts. <laughs> okay, number two. Um, where is your favorite place that you have traveled so far? Spirits, France, where we won gold. It was, was a just fun the trip. town. It was beautiful. Yeah. Next question. What is your favorite song this month? This month. We were only mm. like a week and a half in. Stuck With You by Justin Bieber and Ariana. I like that song. Massive That's a good Justin song. Bieber. Yeah. Perfect quarantine song. Yeah. Okay. 
next question. Would you rather be able to talk to animals or be able to speak all languages? That's so hard because I would love to be able to have a conversation with Kai. <laughs> <laughs> she does I, it's heartbreaking, but um, I'm going to go with all languages because I okay. feel that would be most beneficial. Yeah. I, w- I was thinking I would say that too, but now that I think about it, you can kind of learn those languages on your own. It might take until you pass away, but still. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> last question. Who is the teammate that you think is most similar to you? Most similar to me? Um, like similar at personality-wise or uh, skill-wise? Um, personality-wise. Um, how you play on the field, anything. Okay. I would say how I play on the field, Kayla Kinnett. Mm -hmm. I think we're very similar. Personality-wise, I got to say, in a sense, Kershey Boy. She's a little... She's she's so quiet. Huh? She's so quiet. I know, but when you get to know her, she's freaking funny. Yeah. I be messing with her all the time just because she's so quiet. So I want to see what gets under her skin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you said. <suck>. Whatever. <laughs> okay, so thank you, Casey, for coming on to the show. That is a wrap. Um, Casey, if you can tell us where we, people can follow you and learn more about you, if they'd like Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, website, whatever you have, and then I'll put it here at the bottom. Um, well, I'm not very social media savvy, but I do have Instagram, and it's at K McCravey, and I'll be right at the bottom there. Right at the bottom. Okay, and I'm also good. She's also gonna make sure that she sends me um a picture of her. She's also gonna make sure she sends me a picture of her puppy so that we can show you guys that she is a new puppy mom. The puppy is very cute. Um, it's an Australian Shepherd, like she said. Um, one of my old landlords used to have one of those, so he is, she is precious. Her name's Kai. But, um, again, thank you, Casey, and I can't wait to be back playing on the field with you, but I'm sure I'll see you before then. Thank you. Miss you. Love you. Miss you. Love you. <laughs>